Hello, and welcome to another edition of Inside Outlook. I'm Paul Spaventa, Interim Superintendent for Pemberton Township Schools. I hope everyone enjoyed the four-day weekend and had a safe and happy Thanksgiving. As previously communicated, the Burlington County Department of Health raised the COVID-19 activity level to high in our county in late November, which led to our decision to move all students back to a remote learning program. Once again, I must tell you that we do not take the decision to change learning options lightly. Our staff researches, listens, and weighs those decisions very carefully. We took this precautionary measure to have less individuals and in activity in our schools, thereby reducing the risk of transmission in our buildings. While students in our highly specialized programs will return to in-person instruction next week, all other students will remain on remote learning until Tuesday, January 19th. Our goal is to get past the potential risks that holiday gatherings may bring and back into the classroom for hybrid learning on the 19th. While students remain on remote learning, our staff will continue to teach from their classroom in order to provide the best educational experience possible. In order to keep our staff members as safe as possible, we will closely monitor to ensure that everyone continues to follow all health and safety procedures currently in place. From daily temperature and self-symptom checks to proper masks and social distancing protocols, to daily disinfecting measures, we will continue to take every precaution possible to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in our buildings. In addition, we will remain transparent in reporting all confirmed cases of COVID-19 in our district. Our website is updated daily with any newly reported cases after all close contacts have been informed of potential exposure. Keep in mind that the total number of cases listed includes all cases since October 13th, many of which have been resolved. We will continue to report cases, including those individuals who have tested positive while on remote, even if they have not been in our buildings. Please remember that due to privacy laws, we are unable to disclose any personal information other than the building the individual is associated with. Since moving to all remote, our food services department has once again expanded their locations for free meal distributions. Locations and times are listed on our screen and can be found on our district website. We encourage all Pemberton residents under the age of 18 to take advantage of this free, delicious breakfast and lunch program, regardless of income or need. For those families who cannot get to one of our distribution sites, meal delivery can be arranged by calling our food services department at 609-893-5788. A few reminders before I close. There are no Board of Education meetings in December. Board meetings resume with the reorganization meeting on January 7th, when we will swear in new board members and name board officers. And finally, we know many of you are missing the experience of seeing your child in a winter concert, listening to the sounds of the season. And while our in-person concerts cannot take place this year, you can still enjoy seeing students celebrate the season from your home. All holiday concerts from 2019 are currently airing on Channel 19 and are available on our school YouTube channel. Air times and links are posted on our district website and we invite you to watch the concerts to get in the holiday spirit once more. Remember that during this pandemic, plans can change quickly at the direction of the governor or the local Department of Health. We continue to keep you informed of any updates as soon as we learn about them ourselves. That's our show for today. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time on Inside Outlook.